Hello everyone. Uh, so I wasn't expecting to do two videos today, but um, uh, yesterday I had to uh, work a 12 hour shift and I've been doing paperwork all day and I just wanted to get outside. So I was expecting my Scentsy order to bring back my bar to come tomorrow. That's what the uh, site said. Uh, but it uh, went out to water my flowers in the front and there was my Scentsy box. So I got... Um, my Scentsy to bring my, my bar, and um, I think I ordered 16 different scents, I think it was. Um, I did a, get a couple of um, a couple of the scents there. So I'm going to start. Um, so we'll start with uh, banana nut bread, and this is uh, ripe bananas, nuts, and spices. Now, I've heard some people say it's authentic, other people say it's not authentic, it's, uh, but I think it's, I think it is authentic. I really do. I, it smells like banana bread to me. So I, th I think it is authentic. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy with that one. And the next one is Echo. And this is Sophisticated Metropolitan Manly Spice Mediterranean Citrus herbs and bitter orange so there's quite a bit in that description there now this one this one is definitely cologne -y. uh i do get a bit of the orange though yeah i do get a like a bright citrusy scent in there so that's going to be interesting to see see when it uh, melts i think it's really going to bring out the different notes because there is a lot of notes in here oh and it's I'm kind of hot. I'm melting the I'm melting the wax here. But yeah, I do get the um, like that bitter orange in there. I do get a, a citrus. So yeah, I think it's going to change uh, up a little bit there when it warms up. But I do like that. This is cashmere, and this one is uh, Moroccan jasmine, lily of the valley, and bergamot. A really pretty peach wax. Oh yeah, this is musky. Oh yeah. Yeah, this does remind... Sometimes cashmere is just that really soft, musky, slightly perfumey scent. Yeah, I definitely get the florals. But it's just so soft and musky. So yeah, I'm really going to enjoy that in the bedroom. This is cherry vanilla. Now, I was kind of wondering if I should get cherry vanilla or cherry limeade. I think next time I order, I'm going to try the cherry limeade. Um, but this is my kind of my first time sniffing here. So this is cherry vanilla, which is candy cherry, sugared almonds, and white chocolate ice cream. Yeah, this is, a, I wouldn't say this is like a cough syrup kind of cherry. Um, I do get the almonds. I love cherry almond scents. Um, what else was there in here? White chocolate ice cream. I don't get that. I don't get a creaminess. I just get like a cherry almond kind of scent, which I really do like cherry almond scents. <laughs> Mildred's gone back inside. She's like, it's way too hot out here. <laughs> and then my uh, my little English crumpet, Abigail, likes to hang out here, though. Blueberry rush, blueberry cranberry, black currant, and pomegranate. So there's lots of uh, fruity scents going on in here. I do get the blueberry. There's a sharpness in there. I don't know what that sharpness is. Maybe the cranberry? Hmm. It's a little different than I expected. I do get the blue blueberry. I get a sharpness, which I think is the cranberry. Black currant, pomegranate. Oh, it's hard to say. But it wasn't quite what I was expecting. Um, we'll find out when it um, gets melting there. But I just pick up those couple scents. This is Beach Daisy. Honey Dew Lemon, Wild Daisies, and Green Apple. Now this one I get a little bit of a perfumey scent. Like a musky perfumey scent. Very soft. But on the other side, I pick up more of the... Um, The honeydew lemon. Yeah, it smells a little different on the back. I get the honeydew lemon on the back, but there's a there's a soft uh, floral muskiness to it. 
Yeah, I like that one. And, uh, oh, I got two Hemingways. So I did get two of those because I really like the scent description. It's got a beautiful kind of rusty burgundy kind of wax. And humming, hem, Hemingway. Uh, Hemingway is rich, ripe apples, warm, woody accents of sandalwood, cedar, hints of spice. So those are uh, my kind of scent notes. Oh, yeah. Oh, I like this one. This is my favorite so far. Definitely kind of more of a fall scent. Oh, I do get the apples. I get the spices. Yeah, definitely woodsy notes in there. Oh, I really, really like this one. I'm glad I got two of those. Uh, this is uh, Thunderstorm, which is moss, sharp clove, and spicy rose. Oh, yeah, this is a little bit of brightness to it. I like this one. Oh, oh, can't pop off the back here. I get a bit of the spice. There's definitely, yeah, the spicy rose, definitely. There's a greenery scent. I do get that um, spicy rose in there. The clove might come out more when it's melting. But yeah, this is definitely a, a bright greenery scent. Um, I do get the spicy rose. I like that one. I might have to order another one of those. Uh, Southern Evening. I did get two of the Southern Evenings. And this is lavender, geranium, subtle fruits, and white musk. Ooh, yeah, this one's good too. Oh, I really like this one. Yeah, I like that. Lavender, it's not a it's not an herbal lavender. Um it's it's mixed with the the, the geranium and it's kind of a musky uh, note in there, so that sharp herbal kind of lavender. But it's kind of musky. There's a lightness to it. It's not heavy, which I thought it would be. Yeah, that's really unique. Really like that one. This is Fuzzy Blanket. And this is Lavender Sandalwood and Sweet Honeysuckle. Oh yeah, this, oh, I like this one. This really reminds me of, um, country home candles here in Canada. They have a uh, flannel, flannel sheet wax melt and this smells a lot like it. So if Lisa loves, I know she likes that one too. This fuzzy blanket really reminds me of that wax melt. Oh, I might have to get another one of these. Oh man, this is so soft. This is like crawling into bed in the middle of winter with your flannel freshly washed flannelette sheets and your flannelette uh, pajamas. Oh, I like that one. I think I like that more than, um, what's that other, not clothesline or something. Anyway, um, boy, I like that one. Pink haze, berries, nectarines, vanilla whipped cream, and marshmallow fondant, which is usually not the kind of scents I go for, but I thought it might be a good mixer. Oh, this is good. Oh, it's like creamy berry yogurt. Oh, I like that one. Uh, I'm surprised, but I really like that one. Route 66. Uh, exhilarating breeze of citrus herbs and musk. Oh, yeah, this one's good. This one's a, a definitely a light greenery scent. It's not a heavy greenery scent. It's very bright. I do get the citrus. The herbs is not like an overly heavy herbal, astringent herbs. I do get the citrus, but it's bright. There's, it says musk, but I don't find it over that musky. But it's a greenery and a bright citrus scent. I really like that one. I'm liking a lot of them, actually. Uh, I got two of the white sands. And this is Night Blooming Jasmine. Uh, softened by coconut milk and rice in a gentle breeze. Oh yeah, this one's good. I'm real. I'm quite impressed. I'm liking all of this. Oh yeah, that's very soft. It's it is very very soft. That uh, it's not a cloying sharp floral. It's so soft. 
yeah you get a very soft coconut scent in there and uh the rice usually rice scents are very soft too oh that's definitely a, a great bedroom scent uh, a couple more uh there is buzzworthy and i didn't write down the scent notes but i believe this is honey and like an almond scent oh yeah this is definitely honey yeah it reminds me of the um dw candle the uh, that honey one but it's not as heavy but i definitely get the the honey scent but it's softened up I'm going to do it like that one. And apple butter frosting. I don't have the scent notes here. Oh, this is good. Yeah, I don't... I like bakery scents, but I'm definitely... This is going to be saved for the fall. I just can't do bakery scents in the summertime. But I get the apple. It smells... It. I mean, it smells like apple pie, basically. But it has a creaminess to it. So yeah, that's what I really, really I am happy with these. Um, so I can't get, uh, can't wait to get into these. So yeah, I'm happy to see that it finally arrived. Um, there's definitely a few that I'll probably order again. I would like to ch try the cherry limeade. And uh, so yeah, that's it. I uh, still got to do some paperwork, but that's fine. It's just way too hot to be out here for long. Uh, the puppies will have to go in the evening for their stroll. So anyway, yeah, um, really happy, and uh, I hope you enjoyed. Everyone take uh, care and stay cool, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.